Hello guys, in this video, let's see a demo of rate limit policy and filter IP address policy. Now guys, as you can guess, these are inbound policies, which we apply on incoming request. So basically rate limit policy, it will be used when let's say we have a developer or a consumer who is excessively calling our API and who is consuming a lot of bandwidth. And then we can apply this filter IP address policy to block certain IP addresses. So for example, we can block malicious IP addresses. So guys, we are in Azure portal and this is our APIM instance and we are under APIs. And for example, we have this stocks API. So let's click on it. And under that we have this operation that is get stocks summary. Now let's actually test this operation. So let's go down and retrieve the URL. So this is our URL and let's call it from new browser. So I will paste the link over here and I will say enter. And you can see we are able to call this API and it returns the response as well. But guys, the problem is I can call this API or this operation as many times as I want. So let's say I say refresh and you see every time it's working. And now obviously we want to apply rate limit. And now we are back in Azure and now for this, let's click on this design. And guys, can you see this inbound processing? So basically here we can apply inbound policy. And now here, if we go down, can you see this add policy? So let's click on it. And guys, can you see this rate limit by key? So let's click on it. And now here, basically I will restrict the call such that in 60 seconds, that is in one minute, a consumer can call this API max five times. So here number of calls, I will say five. Renewal period 60 seconds. Guys, this is important. That is counter key. So basically we want to restrict this call based on from a certain user, right? So here I will say IP address that is from a certain IP address. We are applying rate limit and here I will say save. And basically that's it. And now let's test it. So I will open a new browser. And now let's try to call this API that is operation again. So I will say enter. So yes, for the first time the API call has been successful. Let's say refresh. Let's say refresh. Let's say refresh. Let's say refresh. On the sixth attempt, it says rate limit exceeded and it says try again in 47 seconds. Okay. And now let's try this filter IP address policy. So basically what I will do is I will add my own public IP address as blocked IP address. Okay. So that if I call this API operation from my local laptop, that is from my public IP, it should not be allowed. Okay. So again, we are back in API and again, let's go down and here I will say add pub and here I will say add policy. I will say filter IP addresses and I will say blocked IPs and basically here I will add my public IP and guys this is my public IP so let's copy and I will add it over here and over here and I will say save and now guys let's wait for a few seconds and then we'll try calling this API. Okay, we have waited for a few seconds and now here if I say refresh and see guys now it says 403 that is forbidden. So it's because my public IP address has been added in blocked list.